Hi, it's Faceless Tech, and uh, I got something to show you today, but this is what I think of it. Nah, only kidding. I would like to leave it in the rubbish, but I know, I don't know, I'm going to in two minds. It works in some respects, doesn't work in the other respects. So what is it? Well, I've been getting back into gaming, been doing a bit of retro by gaming, and I want to use my original uh, NES, or NES, as you Yanks like to call it, controller with it. Um, I've been looking around, kind of you can get, I know you can get the ones with the USB leads on them, you can get the replica ones or you can get like an adapters, but I thought I'll see if I can, um, you know, because people might have an S controller, might have an Arduino, because um, you can just jam some nails in here, um, attach to some jumpers, in an afternoon you can get this working really, which is what I like about it, but what I've done is I've got, looking around the internet, found um, a library someone had made that reads the NES controller, but it's like a shift register. Um, and then so, and then I also used um, the HID part of the, the human interface device, part of the Arduino Leonardo, and also there was a joystick library. So I basically com combined them together into uh, this one software, which I thought, great, I got it on the breadboard. I was about to send it off to the fab to get spun the board, and I thought, well, hang on a minute, maybe I could add a uh, turbo switch or just a um, you know function switch to it. And then I was thinking about the um, NES Advantage controller, you know, the one with the joystick. That's got turbo on it. You can turn the turbo on. It's also got a potentiometer to adjust the turbo. So I thought, oh, maybe I can I can easily do that in software. So I kind of had to go, had it on the breadboard. Everything looked great. Sent it off to the fab. Got it back. Put it all together. And then I got into trouble. I'll have to show you. Enter the uh, my Raspberry Pi. My... Uh, Pi Girl 2, well, technically 3, because it's got Raspberry Pi 3 in it. I'll just use this for demo. I've already got it set up. You can um, you can just go to configure inputs, um, and then it shows up actually as a Arduino Leonardo, because um, that's what the USB name is for it. So, it. so it is a separate device, not like a keyboard or anything, which is quite handy. Especially if you've got your Rasp um, Pi Girl 2 set up, because the, these are actually technically classed as a keyboard, the buttons. Um, also, what I've got here is what works. It works as a pass-through controller. It perfectly works. But oh wait a minute, let's go out of here. What I've got here is a um, controller controller ROM. This this is great for testing. Test that your buttons all work. Uh, what is also great is it's got like a turbo counter here, so you can check if your turbo is working right. But like as you can see, they all work. Uh, and then you turn your turbo on, press the switch, and the light will come on. But you see how this, see it's going up, and then it'll stop. That's what's wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just really inconsistent, really annoying. But anyway, I'll show you on a proper game. This uh, Sky Shark is quite a good one to test with because it hasn't got, like most um, side scrolling shooters, have like a um, turbo built into the into the game but this one doesn't and everyone said oh you need a turbo for it so I thought that'd be great um, but yeah as you can see look and then the turbo will just stop and you can crank it crank it all the way up like that look it's great for a little bit but then it'll just stop and it's just it's just really inconsistent but it's not consistently inconsistent is it just drives me mad. I've tried to look at all different libraries, see if there's any delays in there at all, because I've not used any delays in my code, which might cause it to, you know, not read the controller. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Like now, it's working great, but it'll just stop working in a minute, and, it, and it's just really annoying. Um, but yeah, you can have a look at my code uh, as usual. The blog post will be down in the description with a link to GitHub and wherever else. You can look at my code and. You know, tell me which I'm an idiot I am and by not spotting the fault, but, you know. So it, it kind of works if you just want to have a pass-through uh, controller, so you, you you know, you really just want to try it, you can do. Um, I've also got a SNES um, uh, port for it, so I might make a SNES one, but I uh, didn't really hold your breath, because I can't really get the turbo working, so it might just be a straight-up thingy one, but I don't know, I'll have a look. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.